Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's word. My last day with you, we close out 1 John chapter 5, close out the month of April. Unbelievable. And I want to just pause as we look out into May, uh, just to share with you on the front lines what God is doing. He, he nudged a gentleman in Sea Island, Georgia, by the name of Todd. Todd raised his hand, said, Scott, how do we or can we bring an Innisgrip Life group to Sea Island? Todd is the tournament director for the RSM Classic for the uh, Love Foundation and have not met him yet. Uh, look to go out there to help them get started in mid-May and on the 15th. And then a week later, uh, Richard, a uh, guy in Diamond Head, Mississippi, raised his hand to say, love to bring in his group life group down to our golf resort in Diamond Head. So... God is definitely expanding and we're cautious. I, I'm cautious of not to get too big too fast where we can't serve each and every group. And um, Tony uh, shepherding them is doing a great job as uh, all, all of you that are involved doing phenomenal. It's amazing to see God build his army of men to shepherd the growth of the ministry. Remember, the more that I let go, the more God expands. It's not my ministry, it's his. We want to shepherd it well. We want to steward it well. And I pray that uh, God is pleased with, with what's happening. So please keep praying. It's all God. And it's been humbling for sure. All right, First John chapter 5. I'm going to go with, yep, three verses, 13 through 15. Uh, here we go. Here's my G for today, gripping the word. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask for anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of him. Well, I'm going to go to my study Bible for my reveal. It it just spoke to me like deeply. So here is um, a little, here's my reveal actually. I need to put a couple of these right to the side here. Okay, here we go. Belief that Jesus is the son of God and a life committed to obeying him are two sources of assurance. Another is the witness of the Holy Spirit who points to Christ in our lives. God gives us a sense of right, rightness as we continue to maintain contact with him through prayer and study of his word as we obey his revealed will. Well, what's God's will for my life? Let him speak to you through the word. Well, I've never heard his voice. All right. Here we go. You ready? Here's God's voice. Uh, it's going to come in different sounds, but you can do the same. Here we go. You want to hear from God? Grab his word. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. You just heard straight from God. Read his word out loud. It's a great way to hear from God. It is transforming. All right? My Im implementation, here's my eye. Cling to Jesus, cling to his word, and cling to the community that he is building in and through the In His Grip community, period. Guys, it's not doing life on our own. It's not going rogue. It's not going, hey, God, I got this. Thanks for getting me kind of cleaned up and back on track. I got it from here. Good luck with that. Uh, we'll be here waiting for you as you take a fall, you know. We'll all get cleaned up and encouraged and back on path. I'm saying that, guys, because I've been there. Lord, man, things are good. I, I, I'm going to take my early mornings now and do this. You know, instead of being in your word, I'm, I'm going to take Micah, you know, at 530 in the morning for his workouts for football. But, you know, I'll, I'll get to you eventually, Lord, but I'm with my son. Excuse after excuse after excuse. No excuse Itis allowed in this home, not allowed. Guys, bless you. 
Thank you. I love you guys. And Joey's going to be with you first thing in the morning. And I look forward to, to diving in with him. And just keep praying over us. Uh, pray that God goes before us. Let me close this out. Heavenly Father, thank you for this journey in First John. And just all the messages, Lord. It's crystal clear that the path you have laid out for us. We just need to follow you. Be in your word. Allow you to transform us, guide us, direct us. Uh, do it in uh, a community of other men. And Lord, just continue uh, to expand your territory. We promise to give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you guys.